four local teams hosting girls badminton sectionals on the same night, so let's stop by all four one by one to see who's heading to state next weekend. Naperville North will be sending both doubles pairings to Hinsdale South as Rosanna Liang and Connie Liu win the sectional championship over Claire Flanagan and Ellie Grant from Glenbard East. Vivian Khan and Katrina Petrikite from Naperville North also qualify for state, finishing in fourth place in doubles. Mia Lagan and Kushi Patel finish third for Glenbard East. The host Huskies win the sectional championship just ahead of Glenbard East. Senior Amanda Ng takes the singles title, defeating this girl, Shannon Chu, in the title match. But both players are heading to state. Now we move over to Matia Valley where the Mustangs also hope to win their own sectional. The doubles team of Anjana Vishwanathan and Rhea Awala put up a great showing qualifying for state and making it to the doubles championship match. In singles, Vijayan Andani Mandava punches her ticket to state for Matia. Her teammate Sri Lakshmi Batula also looks to do the same. It's a tough matchup against Maya Adrada from Romeoville. Utala wins the first set 21-18, but Adrada takes the next two and finishes as the runner-up in singles behind Rebecca Lopez Egan from Willowbrook. Batula does make it to state by finishing in fourth, falling to her teammate Mandava in the third place match. In doubles, Matia Valley's top duo Vivian Koch and Sophia Wang appear ready for another deep postseason run. The Mustangs take down opponents from Romeoville and Lockport. They then defeat their own teammates Vishwanathan and Alwala to win the doubles sectional crown. That helps Matia Valley win the 2022 sectional championship. That helps Matia Valley win the 2022 sectional championship. Naperville Central is next as the Red Hawks play host to a highly contested sectional clash. We start with a doubles match between Naperville Central and Downers Grove South. Hannah Ahn and Michelle Hu of Naperville Central have high expectations as they look to return to state for a second straight season. The seniors cruise past Wheaton Warrenville South and Downers Grove South and into the sectional final, clinching another state trip. The other Red Hawks doubles team, Jessica Pei and Simi Kama, face Grace Beacom and Lauren Dry from Downers Grove North. The Trojans looking to join their teammates, singles champion Gabrielle Chen and singles runner-up Megan Heinz as state qualifiers. But Pei and Kama take the early advantage. Eventually, the Red Hawks are able to advance to face An and Hu for the doubles championship, winning in the semis 21-11, 21-16 in straight sets. Annie Cash and Mary Kozowski from DGN are also state-bound after finishing in third. In the doubles sectional final, Pei and Kama give their teammates all they can handle at this point thanks to a well-placed smash. When you have teammates who know each other so well going head-to-head, -head, it's no surprise to see such long rallies. By the end of this one, it's Hannah Ahn and Michelle Hu who take the point, eventually taking the doubles championship as well. Both pairs will be heading to state. Sarah Pereno and Abby Crawford from Glenbard South are the other singles state qualifiers. Downers Grove North is the team champion with Naperville Central in second and Glenbard South in third. Playing our teammates was fun. Um, we play them in practice a lot, so we know how they play and obviously they know how we play. So it was, it was fun. And like, even though it was like, like our teammates, like during practice, we're not like, sometimes like not super serious, but this is like, we had to like take it very seriously, yeah. even though it was like, our teammates mm -hmm. treat them like they're not our teammates. Yeah, we went to, we actually went to state together last year too. And we had a really good time. We didn't place that well, but hopefully this year we can place better. It also means a lot because this is the last year I'll be playing with her. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's like, woohoo, we're yeah. going to state. Yeah. And we're going with more people this time. Yeah. doubles, the people we just played with. So I think it'll be a really fun experience. We wrap up this sectional marathon over at Nequa Valley. 
the Wabanzi Valley doubles team of Gontharini Kanaga Sabapathi and Sarishika Pula looking to stay alive in the consolation side of the bracket against Ispa Bijumala and Caitlin Carmody from Oswego East. The Warriors keep it close, but the Wolves pull away to win in two sets, eventually qualifying for state by finishing third in doubles. Now to the double semifinals, Jasmine Chan and Trisha Shukla from Oswego East taking on the top seed from Nequa Valley, seniors Bobby Barnwall and Nayun Lee. Lee and Barnwall have been playing badminton together for many years and it shows as the duo showcases the full skill set throughout the sectional. The Wildcats roll to the doubles championship match. Fellow Nequa teammates Arushi Chaudhry and Cynthia Zhang have a similar level of success securing wins over Wabanzi Valley and Plainfield South to earn a spot in the championship as well, despite the best efforts of Ilana Lucek and Jaden Inamine. Let's take a look at the singles semifinals as freshman Hannah George from Nequa Valley faces Ivy He from Plainfield East. George competing in her first sectional, but you wouldn't know it as the young Wildcat plays with poise and precision and earns a victory over He to make the singles final. He qualifies for state as well by finishing in fourth. Another freshman faring well in the sectional is Carissa Chen from Mobanzi Valley. She takes on Wan Han Sun from Nikwa Valley in the other singles semifinal. Sun is just a sophomore, but a savvy player as well. A great cross-court smash to earn this first set point. But Chen is not rattled. Despite some early nice returns from Sun, the Warrior puts this point away and punches her ticket to state, advancing to the singles championship round. Sun will be going to state as well, eventually winning the third place match later in the night. The doubles championship features Nequa seniors Barnwall and Lee against their junior teammates Zhang and Chaudhry. The younger pair looking to pull the upset and take the championship for themselves. But in the end, Barnwall and Lee are able to pull away for a 21-17, 21-16 two-set win. The double sectional title goes to the blue and gold. Chaudhry and Zhang are still heading to state along with Oswego East and Carolyn Winnicki and Rhea Shah from Plainfield East. The final match is the singles championship, Carissa Chen versus Hannah George in a battle of two promising freshmen. Beautiful touch on this drop shot from George as she takes the opening set 21-14. But of course, it was never going to be easy. Chen with a line drive that just skims over the net and glides to the floor, taking the nice point in the second set. However, Hannah George is able to pull away late in the set to win the singles sectional championship 21-14, 21-17 for Nequa Valley. The Wildcats send all four participants to state and earn the sectional crown over Plainfield East. Hinsdale South and the state championship tournament awaits next weekend. I think I played pretty well. Uh, there were definitely spots where I could like improve. Like I think I could like work on my consistency, like generally. But other than that, I think I played really well, and I was able to bring out my A game today. So it means a lot for us, like for our first time playing together, yeah. to like get this far. And also, like we trained together, yeah. <laughs> like outside of school. We've been playing together since like sixth grade, so it feels good to come this far. And today's victory was just um, it made us really proud of ourselves because we had kind of a rough start to the evening. But as the matches went on, we kind of like got ourselves together and kept strategizing and keeping calm through it so that we could like pull through in the end. And I think that was a really good accomplishment for us. Playing against um, our conference people, our conference people are super duper good. So I think having the ability to be able to play against them in meets helps me like improve my experience. So when I play at state, I won't be as stressed out.